Today is Good Friday 2021, and we want to invite you out tonight for our Good Friday service as we focus on the cross at 6.30 p.m. You know, if you weren't a Christian, you'd go, why in the world do they call it Good Friday? Because listen to what it says on that Friday from Matthew chapter 27. The soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium and they gathered the whole garrison around him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And when they twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head and a reed in his right hand, they bowed the knee and before him they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And then they spat upon him, took a reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, well, they took the robe off him, put his own clothes back on him, and they led him away to be crucified. Now, that doesn't sound like a good Friday. But if you continue with the story, and if you come to a place in your life where you bow your knee to the true King of Kings, well, the story is amazingly good. And let me read another section of scripture which makes it the best ever. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that scripture might be fulfilled, he's on the cross, it's Good Friday, he says, I thirst. They, they take a, a sponge and a spear and they put some sour vinegar on it to put it to his lips to kind of numb the pain. And Jesus, when he had received the sour wine, here's what he said. It is finished, or to tell us die. It's complete. And what is finished is this, not only his suffering, not only his crucifixion, but the price, the debt paid for all our sins. Jesus took our place and is completely finished. There's nothing that can be added, nothing that can be taken away. The reason it's Good Friday is because our salvation is completely finished by what Jesus did on the cross. That makes it amazingly good. It is finished.